What's going on everybody? It's your boy J Main back checking in with the people back with another video and Starfield has officially gone gold, which means we are a few weeks away from finally getting our hands on this game. This game has been the topic of conversation throughout the year. In fact, in fact it's been the topic of the conversation for a few years just because of how big and important this game is, not only to the gaming industry, but to Xbox. This is Bethesda's next big thing. This is their new IP. This is what some are even claiming as the Skyrim in space. And we all know what Skyrim did to the gaming industry. If Starfield can recapture that energy, then Xbox has a hit on their hands. And I hope that is the case. I'm actually excited to play this game. In fact, I've been playing Skyrim over the past few days and it's getting me even more excited about getting my hands on Starfield. So with this game officially going gold, they also have announced a few new things about the game in terms of features and aspects that we can look forward to. The review embargo has also been revealed and we also see a few of the reviewers that have been playing this game as of today. So we're gonna get into all of that. Let's you know check out a few articles and, and break it down. So look, Starfield has officially gone gold and the preload starts, well, this says tomorrow, but it is today. If you have an Xbox right now, you can preload Starfield. So Bethesda has announced that Starfield has gone gold ahead of its release next month. Bethesda has also confirmed that players will be able to preload the game on Xbox S and S starting on August 17th, which is today, and on Steam August 30th. So all the PC guys, you gotta wait a little bit longer, but you will be able to get your hands on the game, I believe. It's about 130 to 140 gigabytes of data. Uh, so yeah, make sure you make some space on them hard drives because it's a big boy. Now, several editions of Starfield are available to pre-order. You got the $70 standard version, which includes the base game, but it'll also be available on Game Pass. Listen, as long as Game Pass is a thing, I will be taking advantage of it. That's how I plan to play the game. Why not? If Microsoft is telling me that they're making money with Game Pass, who am I to not take advantage of the offerings? Uh, the digital premium edition and the $300 Constellation edition will come with the game first story expansion. So you actually get some DLC if you're spending that extra money on these different editions. Uh, it's called Shatter Space Plus up to five days of early access beginning on September 1st. So if you're super excited about the game and you want to get it early, go ahead and get the uh, digital premium edition and you can play it five days early on September First, so we got the lead designer and I'm not gonna try and pronounce that name because I will butcher it as well as the lead quest designer who held the Q&A session on the official Bethesda Discord server and a total of 16 questions were answered covering a wide range of topics such as buying houses and recruiting companions. Players can buy houses in all of the major cities in this game and there's at least one given for completing a certain task. Some items such as harvested organs are considered contraband and have to be smuggled past security ships. There are special ship modules you can purchase to hide them. First of all, what kind of game is this? <laughs> we are being able to harvest organs? What the hell is going on? I, I think I might have underestimated what Starfield had to offer from a complete gameplay perspective. That's some sick shit, but if it's, if it's gonna bring back some cash, I might as well get it, get it, get involved. Time only passes while actively playing. It's not possible to set up trade routes, outposts, and mining operations and have them continue to produce while the game is off. That right there, I can see being a little bit of a controversial feature. Time only passing while you're actively playing the game. I guess because there might be certain things going on that you don't want time to really pass while you're not there because then things might take place that you don't want to happen. So I guess they probably had to make that decision on if they were gonna make that a feature or not based on the systems that they have in place where players might become upset because time passed while they weren't playing and then things you know, went wrong or maybe like, you know, stuff like maybe people robbing you. <laughs> like you get robbed several times while you're not playing because time is passing and you come back and your shit is a barren wasteland. <laughs> like it's something like that happening while you weren't playing, I can understand players being upset. So they probably just decided, you know what, time is not gonna pass while you are not playing the game. All of the playable factions can be completed independently. And if players choose to join the United Colonies military, there's a mission which sees them being an undercover agent working for the Crimson Fleet. 
Although it's not totally feasible to play through the game without killing anyone, there are some systems in place to reduce the amount of killing if needed. One example is the speech challenge game where players can persuade people not to fight them. So that's cool. And you know, it got those people that want to do their passive playthroughs. This feature right here will allow you to, you know, persuade enemies or people that might be a little bit hostile uh, to back off. Like, you know what I mean? We don't want no smoke. We just trying to get through the game <laughs> peacefully. Let's keep it going. Starfield's review embargo date has been revealed. And it is Thursday, August 31st at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern. And if you're over across the waters, it's 5 p.m. There are some people that are playing this game right now. Codes have went out, which is why they have been able to reveal uh, what the embargo date is. And uh, this embargo date is a day before the early access or five or six days before uh, the game officially comes out. So that is showing a little bit of confidence from Bethesda on what they have at hand because they're not uh, a stranger to dropping that embargo like a day before or a few days before the game comes out. So seeing that there's a little bit of a window there for the game to drop officially and have that embargo out there, it's showing a little bit of confidence. Um, I've been seeing some people tweet on the timeline that they do have the game. Of course, we got Tom Warren from The Verge. Paris has also uh, said that he got the game. Who else do we see? Gene Park has got the game. I did see that they didn't give um, Skill Up a copy of the game. I wonder why. I wonder why they didn't get Skill Up a copy. Have they been handpicking who they want to, uh, you know, get the game in terms of content creators? I know the big outlets are going to get it. But content creator-wise, have they been handpicking who's going to get the game? Interesting. I just hope Microsoft does a little bit better job with the marketing. I was just talking with Kofi on the, the Good Gaming Podcast. New episode dropped over there. So make sure y'all go and check that out. Wouldn't it be dope if like Microsoft got involved with some type of space shuttle, uh, maybe NASA or SpaceX or something where they can like have like a countdown going on for Starfield and it's like placed somewhere in these like major cities like a LA or a New York or a, a Paris or something like that, London. Like wouldn't it be dope as hell if they did something like that to, to get people excited or get people who know nothing about Starfield like wondering like, yo, what is this about? Like that's the type of market that we want to see from Microsoft, but... They seem to not maybe believe in the traditional marketing approach anymore. Maybe they'll have like live streamers playing the game, which can go a long way. But I also think it, it should be a healthy balance of both of the new style of marketing and the old style because that still works. But let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. Are you excited to play Starfield? Is the hype high or is it low? Or maybe it's just in check. Rate the video, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch out in my next video. Peace.